Wild Mind Comic Presence Reincarnated as an Energy with a System Chapter 24, Hiesi Ning looked at the group of humans coming his way. They all had black skin and barely any clothes on them. Aboriginals, he wondered. The group was full of men and women as all of them carried spears with them. The men were carrying something behind their back, but Ning couldn't see it from this position. Should I use the parasite skill on one of these humans? He started wondering. The thought of the humans dying just like those birds and wolves made him want to vomit. No, I should just jump into one of their other objects. But what? They are barely wearing any clothes at all, and the system said weapons are a bad idea to get into, so I can't switch to their halberds either. As the people came closer, he started seeing them more clearly. Whoa, he was shocked as he saw the very well-built body of both the men and women. Sa Dun Jin Shu, said one of the men with an unkempt beard and hair. Do they not take care of their facial hairs? He wondered as he looked at all of the men and their unkempt hairs. He looked towards the women and saw that they had silky smooth hairs, all properly tied down. Yeah, it's just the men being lazy, he thought. The man who spoke earlier came close to him and squatted to look at the fish. He seemed to have the largest body out of all the people here and seemed to be the leader of the sort. So, as soon as he squatted down near the fish, all the other people made a circle around him. And so Gun Hold to and Stevie. He started talking as he said something in a language Ning couldn't understand. Uh. System, can you translate what they're saying? He asked. Please buy a language skill from the shop. Oh, that's right. I can do that. Show me what I can buy. He asked. Here are the language skills you can buy. Basic Clavi's language, 5,000 energy. Beginner Clavi's language, 25,000 energy. Intermediate Clavi's language, 250,000 energy. Advanced Clavi's language, 2,500,000 energy. Omniscient Clavi's language, 25 million energy. Alternatively, you can also buy Basic All Language, 880 million. Beginner All Language, 8,800 million energy. Intermediate All Language, 88 billion energy. Advanced All Language, 880 billion energy. Omniscient All Language, 8 trillion 800 billion energy. What the hell? Why is it so expensive? He asked in surprise. He had never even seen numbers that high in his past life. All language includes every language spoken in every single world and every single universe. Since it is a basic need to communicate, the system provides languages at a very cheap price. That's cheap, he was stunned at what the system had just said. Show me the status, how much energy do I have, he ordered. Status. Name, Ning Ruagong. Energy, 854,151. Skills, simultaneous thinking, basic map. Uh. I need the energy to transfer later on and I don't know how much I will need it. So it might be better to just take the cheaper ones for now. Give me the beginner Clavi's language, said Ning as he ordered the system. Confirmed. But how did a fish come so far away from the sea? One of the women asked. Maybe God sent it here. Maybe we blessed by the Anakaka, a man said. Stop speaking, the leader said. Haisi, take this fish and go back to the village. We will return after we are done with work here, the leader said. A small boy, barely at the age of twelve, walked out from behind the group of men and women. He was also bare-chested like all the men, and only had a small piece of cloth around his waist, hiding his privates. What? Are they gonna make this little kid take this giant fish back home? Are they insane? Ning was surprised as he heard the leader man order the little kid to take the two meters long fish, which probably weighed somewhere around 150 kilograms in his opinion. Yet the boy simply nodded and said, Okay, chief. He walked up to the fish and took out his own spear. In a single thrust, he speared through the fish. And then he did something that dropped Ning's figurative jaw. The boy easily started to pick up the fish with his spear and put it on his back. What? What? How is this kid so strong? 
Is he a cultivator as well? Is he using she too? He started asking questions to which he knew the answers would never come. However, the system surprised him this time. It actually did answer. They are cultivators. But they do not use qi. Huh? Cultivator, but doesn't use qi? What do you mean? Don't all cultivators use qi? He asked. These are body cultivators. They temper their bodies to be as strong, if not stronger than people that use qi. Oh, can they fly and shoot fire and stuff too? Ni asked. No. They only cultivate their bodies, so they do not have any qi-related abilities. Hmm, so how do they do it? How do they cultivate bodies? He tried his luck with the question. Please buy more information on cultivation from the system. Ah, there it is. He thought. The little boy called Haisi started walking back to where he had come from. Ning was curious to see where this group of aboriginal-looking cultivators lived. The boy walked out of the beach and into the forest which seemed to be mostly filled with coconut and palm trees. Finally, after a few minutes, the forest cleared and Ning saw a simplistic, yet beautiful village made up of mostly stones. There were little kids playing around the middle of the village, men training with each other, women drying something in the sun, etc. As soon as Haisi walked into the village, the group of kids that were running around in the middle suddenly saw him and ran in his direction. When they reached him, one of the little girls started asking him, Brother Haisi, Brother Haisi, did you catch that fish? Thanks for listening. Like, share, and subscribe for more.